Have you been diagnosed with osteoporosis and wondering what is the best thing I can do? What is one easy thing I can do to help reverse the course? Well, let me share that with you today. My name is Dawn, I'm with New Dawn Exercise Therapy and I'm a kinesiologist and an exercise therapist. And over the years I've worked with a lot of individuals dealing with osteoporosis. And usually my advice is the first thing here, walking, walking is one of the best things you can do each and every day. And it's easy, it's something you don't have to buy equipment for that you are totally in control of. So let me give you a few tips how to make that walking the best thing you could possibly do. First of all, it's weight bearing, okay? Weight bearing is a great activity if your bone mass is low because we're loading the bones, okay? Every time you take a step, that's considered weight bearing and that's sending a message to the bones, hey, we got to get stronger here, we've got to get more density. And usually walking for almost anybody is a really low risk activity. So it's not high impact, it's just a good amount of impact for the joints and the bones. And usually you can do it pretty much anywhere unless it's pouring rain or it's too cold, but I believe in bundling up if it's too cold. But it's something we can do daily, okay? If you've never really gotten into walking, start small, start with a small interval of time. Maybe you're just going for a five minute walk and that was enough and you felt that. Maybe you're gonna repeat that again later in the evening. Build up over time, okay? Maybe we're building up to a 10 to 15 to 20 minute walk that you can do each day. Uh, change your course. If you get bored real easy, maybe you're finding a different route around your neighborhood. Um, ways to make it more intense. Pick up the pace instead of just a normal walking pace. Maybe for 30 seconds, you're booking it and you're walking real fast and they're gonna take it down for another 30 to 45 seconds. We call that interval training, okay? So going up and down where you feel your heart rate going up, your breathing going up a little bit, and then backing back down. That's gonna help get your fitness level up. Find an area where you could perhaps do some hills. Hills are an awesome cardiovascular exercise. And you'll definitely be feeling a little bit breathy if you're not used to doing hills, okay? So again, start small with those. You're not tackling the, the steepest hill ever but you're starting gradually and you're building up your fitness level for that. Shoes. This is not the time to wear flip-flops. I unfortunately see a lot of people who still wear their flip-flops when they're out walking. It's not great arch support, it's not good for the feet. If you're old enough to be dealing with osteoporosis, I can guarantee you that your feet need some good support. Also, it will greatly decrease your chances of stumbling and falling. And if you have osteoporosis, you can't risk a fall. So get some good supportive tennis shoes, okay? Everyone's foot is a little bit different. I recommend trying on several different styles, seeing what works for you. Just something that feels good, okay? Shoes and socks, gotta do that. Pay attention, okay? I see too many people out. I saw just a lady this morning. She's out walking the whole time, her head's down with her cell phone. And she's not gonna be able to see what's in front of her, okay? Again, we are not gonna take a stumble or a fall. It's just not an option. We cannot do this. You've gotta keep your eyes open and your head up. I'm not saying you can't put something in your ears. I love to listen to a podcast when I'm walking, but you've got to be aware of your surroundings, okay? You've got, you can't, you've got to watch your footing. You cannot stumble and fall. And then finally, your posture when you're walking. I don't want you all hunched over, rounding. That's not good for the spine. Getting the shoulder blades back and together, standing tall, chin up, tucking your butt a little bit, okay? So again, if you want my one top thing to do, if you've got a diagnosis of osteoporosis, walk and do it a lot and do it regularly. If I can help you out with anything else, please do get in touch. I wish you a great day.